guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you can notice, I'm outside, which I I pretty like, but just to be honest. So as you see in the title and the thumbnail, we're unboxing another my still model. Yay! It's another part of my collection is gonna be lost after this. So this is the Abarth 500. So I think basically just a Fiat 500, the modern Fiat 500, but modified. So I am not sure what what's with the Abarth thing, but all I can say is just a Fiat 500 modified. So it's basically the same box, same design, and and, and everything. So let's get it open so I can show you guys the features. <laughs> I'm a guess that a board is just Fiat, a uh, sub company of Fiat. So here it is out of the box. Let me just unscrew it. Oh man, this is gonna be so risky. Oh, it's so risky. Oh man, this is gonna be so risky. I think I have just one more job for this since the screws are legit so modern. Not the normal film set. Oh man. Oh wait, I can just pull it off. This thing is just crusted. Ah! Jokes on you, you didn't need scissors. So, sorry about that. So, here is a bar, the bar 500. So, there's. It has some cool rims. I can. I, I can say that this. If this was like an assembly kit, I would probably use these stars for like other models. Since this, it looks so cool. So it does look like, as I said, it looks like the nor the modern Fiat 500, but it's a little bit modified. Some new features. Cause it's in, it has this like checkered roof top. So first, start with the hood. Here's the engine bay, right here. Uh, let me just focus it on. Focus on the camera. I don't know if you can see it properly, but there has a pretty small engine for a compact car, of course. You said it is a compact car, so yeah. So it does not say Fiat at the logo logo, it's the Abarth logo. Even says on the plate. And what I really like has this the Scorpion Abarth logo. And did I mention the rims? Some pretty racy rims that they got here. And here's the back. Oh wow, that is cute. This is cute. <laughs> Actually, the car sounds cute. So here's the interior. It has red and hold on, red and black. Not only in from in the doors, but on the main interior itself. Here it has red, se red and black seats, stuff like that. Pretty detailed, as expected. From my stove, that has like a stripe, a stripe, uh, a barting on the bottom right here, both sides, and has the logo right here. And the back, the support. I stand corrected, this may be a modified 500. The exhaust, the exhaust, it looks like a, it looks like something lo with a turbo. Oh, and they forget to mention there is a spoiler at the back. And the other side here, since I have not opened this, hence the screws and this, the underside of it is super shiny. Like, it's silver. Like, legit silver. Oh, yeah. And this is what I was mentioning with the Abarth thing and the logo. And here, as you can see, if you look closely, there's the 500, and there's the exhaust that I said. It looks like it's with the turbo. The side mirrors look like actual mirrors. Even though it's like foil stuck on right here, it actually acts like a mirror because it reflects the seats. Ah, yes, the gear shift. The gear shift made. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay. This is actually good. Oh, and there's the there's a steering wheel, so I'm just gonna turn the tires right there. It actually steers! That's pretty cool! That's actually nice. It's actually in there. So I can say that my stud did a pre a really good job in design designing these. There's also like the stickers and oh what the even the steering wheel with the ups and up and down buttons. Though I hope future models of the 500 will have like the little monitors on the dashboard because this particular model doesn't have like the said uh, said rate tablet monitor. Ah, it's like those radio spinny or the you know, TV stations and all you stuff. So I think I can see in the near future when Maestro releases like for example a new model for their special edition series. It'll be hyper realistic. Not like hyper hyper realistic in size, but hyper realistic in details in the design. So oh actually what's this? It's actually tire marks uh, that Mm. Actually, put a really good job. Pretty hard work in this. But since I said this may be a uh, what thought a modified model of the 500, it has those little flaps that make it lower. So not only um there's turbo turbo exhaust. I'm just guessing. There's also like the lower flaps, like sport, sport flaps, and sport seats. That's actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, since this is just a small car, I can't review much of it. So, that's basically it for now, guys. So, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, maybe I'll do a good video next. Challenge? Leave it down in the comments section down below if you want if you guys want me to do like a Gundam challenge uh, Reviewing a Gundam, but right I'm gonna just review a Gundam since I really do not know how to build those things. So bye